These are devotions for people at a social distance. This coming Sunday uh, is Christ the King Sunday, or the Reign of Christ Sunday, the final Sunday of the ecclesi ecclesiastical year, and uh, that has been making me think a lot about this idea of, uh, of Christ being king and what that means. Um, it's, a, it's an idea that in many ways I've long been a bit uncomfortable with because I know, I know historically speaking what Christians have done with that idea. They have taken the idea that, you know, that, that Jesus Christ is worthy of, of ruling in this world and beyond this world, which he is, and used it to impose things on people who see things differently, who, who have thought about it in terms of what other people need to do. And so it's, we've used it to impose morality uh, and indeed sometimes to impose Christianity on people. I mean, that that's what some of the, that's what a lot of the missionary endeavor was, especially when it accompanied colonialism. That's what the Crusades were, really. And they were about imposing the rule of Christ on people, uh, not because they chose it, but because uh, we were more powerful than them, or at least we thought we were. And so uh, I have long been a bit uncomfortable with this idea of the kingship of Christ. Um, but I've been reflecting also on how the Bible speaks about, and in particular, the Gospel of John, and uh, the kingship of Christ, as it is portrayed in particular in the Gospel of John, is so very different from how we have tended to live that out. And here's one example that I was reading this morning. This is from John chapter 32. And I, when I'm lifted up from the earth, Jesus says, will draw all people to myself. And you, know, you just take that, take that verse, uh, out of context, and you know, it's the idea. Well, well, Christ, you know, the the wonderfulness, the greatness of Christ, lifted up above the earth, and and all people will be forced to come and and worship at the feet of Jesus. Right? That's uh, it does seem initially to be a symbol of power, a, a symbol of uh, let's impose Christ's rule on the world. But then, when you look closer at the passage and the context, the lifting up from the earth is a pretty clear reference to the crucifixion. <laughs> you know, it's about Christ being lifted up on a cross from the earth. And so it's not an, issue, an image of strength. It's actually an ex image of extreme weakness. The kingship, the kingship that Christ speaks of in the Gospels, uh, in, in the Gospel of John maybe especially, is a kingship that is based on weakness, on the on on service, on giving of himself, and that drawing all people to him, that is uh, not a question of force. It is, it is a question of wonder, wonder at such service, such sacrifice, such extreme love uh, that is meant to impress people, but not in any way to constrain people or to force people. We need to rethink how we consider the kingship of Christ and we need to start thinking about it, not in terms of what other people need to do or how they need to live in lives, but, but what that kingship means to us and our lives. And if it doesn't change our lives, then we certainly have no busy business imposing that kingship of Christ on anyone else. Lord, our God, help us come to a renewed sense of what it means to call you our king, to call Jesus our king and to allow that kingship to transform our lives and the way we live in such a way, in, in such love, in such service, in such giving, that, that people will be drawn, but not constrained, not forced. Amen.